guys, so today I am here with another weight loss video. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about weight loss motivation. So if you guys are new to my channel, you guys might not know it by looking at me, but I have lost 88 pounds the all natural way just through good old fashioned diet, exercise, hard work, dedication. How annoying, let me not do that. I share exactly what I do over my channel. I have a whole playlist if you guys are new here. So it's been a while since my first motivation videos. So I just wanted to kind of update and give you guys another video on this topic because it is something I literally get asked every day, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. It's your number one question. So let's just do it. Mm, I got hurt in my lip gloss. Okay, I'm back. The first thing that I always say to answer this question when anyone asks me is, why do you want to lose the weight? What are your reasons for wanting to use, lose the weight? The number one thing is for weight loss to work and be successful and have maintenance and long term and really work out for you guys, you have to want it for yourself. You can't want to lose weight for anybody else. Otherwise, it makes it that much harder and you are more likely to fall off the wagon. So write down your reasons for losing weight. They can totally be vain reasons like I want to lose weight so I can wear a bikini next summer. I mean, that's fine. That's for yourself, girl you do you but just make sure that you are really doing this for yourself because it's a commitment that you have to make. So once you've decided that you would like to lose weight and that you want to do it for yourself my next tip is to create a vision board or some kind of mood board so that can be on Pinterest if you guys want to do it electronically or you can do it the old-fashioned way and take inspiration pictures and photographs from magazines and anywhere else and you can stick them all over a mood board and create an actual poster that you can stick up in your room that you can see all the time or what I personally did in my weight loss journey was I followed a Tumblr blog. It has now changed names from my first video, so I'm gonna link to the exact one below. But it's just like a whole website dedicated to people's before and after pictures, and they tell you what they did and like a little blurb about their story. And I loved seeing that there were people that were bigger than me that could even get to like smaller than I wanted to be or could get to about where I wanted to be. So I knew if they could do it, why couldn't I do it? Like it's kind of like monkey see monkey do. If you see someone else can do it, why can't I? They're not special, I'm not special. We're both people, we have the same abilities to do it. And something that kept me motivated all throughout my journey was knowing that if I actually was successful, I could post my own pictures on that blog too. Another huge tip to stay motivated is to take progress pictures. So go ahead, take a picture of yourself right now, pause this video, snap a picture of yourself with clothes and also like in a bra and underwear so you can actually see your body and keep it for yourself. And then every week take a picture on the same day. And then you have actually something tangible that is showing you your progress because sometimes you think, oh my God, I'm putting in all this work. I'm not losing any weight. My dress size is the same. My pound size is the same. I also know that one of the biggest reasons why people fall off their weight loss journey is because we are busy people. I hear it all the time. Amy, I'm a mom. I work full time. I'm in school, I just don't have the time. But if you think about it, there are always those five to 30 to an hour, however long it is, where we sit on the couch or we are sitting on our phone scrolling through Instagram or we're on the computer just doing nothing, mindless surfing. And downtime is great. I'm a big fan of downtime, but those 30 minutes, if that's the only 30 minutes you have in your day, you need to make it work for you and you need to exercise during that time. Honestly, it's like making a date with yourself. You need to make a date with yourself and stick to that date when you're doing weight loss. And look at it like it's a commitment. It shouldn't be an extra, it should be a priority. And also preparation. Preparation is key. Honestly, if you prepare, it makes your life so much easier. You can meal prep, and meal prepping, if anyone doesn't know, is basically when you make your meals for the entire week and you portion them out and put them in Tupperware in the fridge and you can just grab and grow. So usually, grow, go. So usually you would cook like one meat, maybe some chicken breast, enough for the whole week, some veggies, and then a carb. I meal prepped all the time during my weight loss. I thought that was great. But there are some times when you don't want to eat that same food every day because it can get boring and that's another reason you fall off and don't feel motivated. So you can also prepare, which is what I did by scrolling through Pinterest and also like healthy Instagram accounts and things like that. I used to troll and scroll, I still do today actually, scroll and scroll and scroll for healthy fun recipes but that are clean eating because clean eating does not have to be boring which is one thing that many people mistake. So I would do that and I would plan which day of the week that I was going to make fresh food for myself too. One of the biggest things that I get told is I have kids so I don't have time to work out. I totally could understand that your time is limited. However, one tip that I have for people who have kids, because I get this question a lot, is incorporate your kids into your workout. Go outside and play football with them in the backyard or play like soccer or play a game with them in the backyard that has you moving. You can even dance to like a PlayStation game. You can go for a walk around the block or run around the block with your kids. Anything like that can also be considered exercise. Another thing I get girls telling me is I hate running on the treadmill or I hate the elliptical or I just hate working out at a gym. Not everyone is the same. I totally get it. So another 
motivational thing is to find an exercise that you like and stick with it. It does not have to be a conventional exercise. If you like to take a Zumba class and you love dancing and you want to do Zumba as your workout, a 60 minute Zumba DVD even in your home or a class at a gym, however you want to do it, that still counts as exercise. If you love to swim, swimming is great exercise. Go to the pool and do a few laps. If you actually like to bike outside, not spinning, just real biking, go for long bike rides. Any exercise, playing tennis, playing a sport, taking up a sport where you go a few times a week, anything like that is also considered a workout. You have to find the workout that works for you. Make a killer playlist. If you make a killer playlist, I tell you your workouts are that much more fun. And every time I make a new playlist, I swear to God, I just want to get in the gym so I can be like, yes. I will leave some of my favorite songs to work out to currently in the information bar below so you guys can check them out. But Girl, if you get yourself a playlist, you will be killing it and the 60 minutes will be gone like that. Another thing is you don't not have to go out to eat dinner or to any restaurant. But if you're going out to a restaurant, I still do this to this very day because I'm like a nutrition freak. I like knowing what's in my food. I go to the menu, I take a look at what I might want and I take a look at the nutritional info. Honestly, if you are in weight loss, then I would obviously try to choose something that has the best breakdown. Or what you can do is you can amend the menu item. Like if I used to want a burger and I really desperately wanted it when I was out and it was not a technical cheat day, I would just eat the burger without any bun on it. So I would take away the carbs and I would just have the protein. People think red meat is the devil. If you're vegan, you're obviously going to come at me with a pitch for it. But even people who eat meat think red meat is the devil and in moderation it is fine. It is slightly more fatty than a chicken breast but I ate red meat all through my weight loss journey. I do enjoy beef every now and then and a burger and I'm sitting here fine today. So if you like to eat out and you know that you cannot make the best choices at a great restaurant, go to a vegetarian or a vegan or an organic restaurant. They have like an entirely clean menu. Sometimes it's raw, sometimes it's not. But you can eat healthy. Like everything is on the menu is guilt free and healthy and great for you and made out of a lot of greens and fiber and things like that. Something else that really kept me motivated and really kept me like on the straight and narrow all throughout my weight loss is keeping a food journal. I know it sounds kind of lame. I would keep a written log and I would log every single food that passed my lips that day. Some days you may have slipped up and you can quite clearly see, hang on, I was not supposed to have like three bags of chips that day. You can see what you can cut out of your diet, what you can keep in, what you need more of because I bet you that you are lacking in protein and fiber and vegetables and things like that. And even better, if you want to share that diary with someone, you are not going to want someone to see that you're eating off track all the time, are you? I mean, I'm not, like, I don't feel guilty, but damn. I know one of the hardest things ever is to be patient, but you really have to be when it comes to weight loss. Weight loss is a journey. It is not a sprint. Like, what's that quote about sprints and marathons? When I was losing weight, I didn't feel like I was losing any weight in the first six months. And then I, it was like I looked in the mirror and I was like down 60 pounds. And then it took me almost the rest of the year to lose another 20 pounds. And then it took me another six months to lose probably about 10 more pounds. Don't mark your progress against anyone else's progress. Don't look at me doing this video and say, that's what she did, that's what I need to do. You just need to realize that this is a journey. You have to be patient. And as long as you are doing the right thing diet and exercise wise, eventually it is gonna pay off. But in the meantime, there are so many other non-scale victories to be celebrating. You'll be getting better sleep, you'll feel healthier. One of my favorite non-scale victories was the endurance that I had. When I noticed that I had increased endurance, your clothes may be fitting differently. And internally in your body, there are even things that we can't see. Your body is gonna be so much more healthy inside. You're just doing great things for yourself and your body. Don't get hung up in weighing yourself. That is the least motivating thing ever. Do not weigh yourself because sometimes you will weigh heavier, you will weigh lighter. And weighing yourself every week when you may not drop pounds every week, I just think the scale is silly. I think weight loss is more than numbers. I like to go by how I looked in the mirror. I would weigh myself probably every couple of months. Like I recently weighed myself because I went to a doctor's physical, but before that it had been like a year since I stepped on a scale. Like I didn't even own a scale. Throw away your scale. The scale is not a good indicator of weight loss. Well it is, but it's not. So yeah guys, those are my best tips for right now for motivation. If I can think of any more, I will leave them in the information bar below. I will also encourage you guys in the comments below to help each other out because sharing is caring and you guys can motivate me too. Share your best ways that you stay motivated or things that helped you get over the hump. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found some tips that you found helpful. Please let me know and I will catch you guys in the next video.